In the story of Alex Curzon, just how did this six-year-old boy manage to survive while the Nazis were trying to annihilate the Jewish race? Well, that's an incredible story, and it's very, very difficult to understand. He went into the forest, and the way he tells it, he survived by sleeping in trees. That's how he kept away from wild animals. And he ate leaves and grass and, and small animals, anything he could find. And he would knock on the doors of farmhouses and beg for food. And usually, the farmers gave him some food. But then he was eventually captured. And when he was captured, I understand, he became, uh, as you say, a mascot for the Nazis. Again, that's, that's why we did the story, because it's so incredibly unbelievable. The Nazis, well, first he was saved by one Nazi soldier who saw that he was Jewish, and yet, instead of taking him out with the other Jews who were being killed, just kept him under cover. And then the other Nazis, just a little boy, they wanted a mascot, and he looked like one, and they made him one. And Years and years later, it, it, his story is only coming out. Why did he keep it a secret for so long? You know, a lot of survivors of the Holocaust don't talk about it to anyone. I've met hundreds of people in Israel, hundreds of Jewish survivors of the Holocaust, who they didn't tell their family, they didn't tell anyone until much, much later, and many of them never told anyone. But I think Alex didn't tell it just because, frankly, I think he was a little bit uneasy about how he did it and what happened.